Go ahead. Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Yashala. All right. Before we move forward, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Okay, the double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Regardless of whom here forbears. That's right. The title of the lesson is, who will you put your trust in? Right. Okay? You got to pick a side. Who you going to put your trust in? In your by Shem, Yahweh Shai? Or you going to put your trust in man, you know, the government, yourself, your riches? All right? And we're going to see through the scriptures, you know, um, what's going to lead you. What's going to lead you um, down the road deciding what, whatever side you choose. If you pick your Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, what that's going to get you, or if you choose to go after your riches or carnal things, what's what's going to um, be the result of that? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the first precept? I'm going to start off with um, Psalms 115. Cunt, I'm already here. In 11? Yeah, you want me to get it for you? Cunt, yep, yep. I'll get it for you. This is Psalms 115, verse 11. Ye that fear the Lord, ye have Bashim Yahweh Shai. Trust in the Lord. Ye that fear the Lord. For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. The ones that fear the Lord. And what's fear? Going back to Proverbs 1 and 7. Okay, fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. Okay, for the ones who actually fear the Lord, have the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures. Okay, are actually the ones who trust in the Lord, who have faith in the Lord. Right. When you when you um, start to fear the Lord, you know, the Lord bring, give you that spirit of fear and you learn more about you know the heavenly father yahweh okay you learn to fear the lord you get more wisdom and knowledge and realizing that he's the only one that you should be putting your, you should be putting your trust in that's right okay you shouldn't be putting your trust in man you know uh, your riches whatever carnal things you got in your life man okay so the ones that fear the lord yahweh trust in the lord right it says he is their help and their shield that's right the Heavenly Father's our help and our shield, man. We just had a tornado come through, you know, uh, the mid the mid part of um, uh, Virginia, man. Right. Certain parts of Richmond. Okay. For the ones who fit the Lord, you how about you shy? We're not afraid, man. Right. Because we know the Heavenly Father's going to protect us, man. You know, the Heavenly Father's visiting the earth through storms and tempests, man. That's right. So he's going to make sure the ones that truly fear him, which are the ones who have the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, are going to be protected, man. He's going to have that shield. Right. Yeah, he's going to have the angels have that hedge over you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to protect you no matter what, man. No matter what situation that befalls you, we still going to be protected, man. That's right. No matter if our house get damaged, our house get, you know what I'm saying, destroyed, the God of the Bible still protecting us. He's still going to make a way out of no way. That's right. He always do, man. Why? Because right. we trust him, man. We don't right. trust in our money, our cars, the clothes. Our women, the so-called white man, our jobs, all that nonsense. No, man. We trust in the Lord. Therefore, right. he's going to help us. He's going to be our shield, right? That's right. And I'm going to jump up. Well, I'm going to jump up to um, verse 9, same chapter. And this is just a basic lesson on who will you trust. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Will you trust in the Lord or will you trust in your um, material wealth, man? Or the so-called white man. Talking to you Israelites, man. Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, right? Right. And these lessons that we do only for the elect, you know? That's right. We know who the elect going to trust. So this is Psalm chapter 115, verse 9. O Israel. Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And that includes a confusion of faces. Israel is a people before it's a place. Right. Trust thou in the Lord. Hey, that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. He yeah, is, trust in the Lord, man. Right. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Not wavering from trust, not wavering from faith. You know? So when, when the hurricane Florence came through, the men of the Lord, man, they trust in Yahweh by Shemia was shot. Right. No wavering from that. Yeah, you know, brothers make sure they got enough food and water, you know, to, to, to last them, you know, a few days or whatnot. Right. Okay, being having some spiritual discernment on that, you know, but they're not, you know, trusting in uh the government. To protect them, they trust in Yahweh by Shemia was shy. Right. Plus, the scriptures tell us to be wise, so of course we're going to be wise enough to go get some water. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. Just in case we're, uh, we don't get, because uh, shit, the grocery store could get uh, demolished right. with these storms and things that's coming. So, of course, we're going to be wise enough to go get some waters and things of that nature for our household. Right. But we don't put our trust in those bottles of waters. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? Because the hell, we bring the water in the house and the house could get destroyed. You know what I'm saying? They say, no, we left without water. So we just get water, you know what I'm saying, just to be wise. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we won't put our trust in it, you know? That's right. It says, O oh Israel, trust thou in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. That's right. The Lord's going to be our help and our shield, man. When you down and out, okay, you, you need food, you need shelter, you need water. Yeah, how about Shinao Shai is going to be there for yep. you, man. All right, when you um, need a hedge of protection from a tornado or a hurricane bringing heavy winds, you know the Lord's going to um, make sure the angels protect you. Yep. Okay? But you you got to trust in your how about Shinao Shai. And reading, um, going back to uh, the 11th verse, you got to first fear the Lord. Yeah. Man. Cause that that wisdom and knowledge is gonna let you know how powerful and how um how how the heavenly Father controls all things, man. You know that's the only entity that you should be putting your trust into. Right. So called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know. And then you don't wait till all hell break loose to trust in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Right. You trust right. in the Lord way before all hell break loose, man. You know. Right. That's why it says make no terror to turn to the Lord, man. Nope. Don't yeah. put it off from day to day. You gotta start trusting in the Lord now, man. Now, because that's an entity that's bringing everything, man. Yep. You know? It says, um, he is their help and their shield. Same thing the 11th verse was saying. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And a shield is um used for protection, man. Yep. So, trusting in the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I got another one too, bro. This is uh, down in um a chapter down. Well, two yeah. chapters down. This is Psalm chapter 118, mm -hmm. verse um 8. Yep. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in a man. It's better to put trust in your how about Shai than to put trust in a man, man. Confidence no. in a man. Right. A man gonna fail you every time, man. Okay. Uh the scripture Roman uh Romans three and three says um uh, every man is a liar. Yep, so what um, if some because, didn't believe? Yep, yep, even though uh yep, yep, I don't wanna mess that up, but you know, let me bring that right quick. Just the first part of just so I don't quote that yeah. wrong. You know, Confidence. it says Romans 3 and 3, just uh, 3 and 4, Salakia. The most high forbid, yeah, the let the most high be true, but every man a liar. Yeah, because why? A man ain't controlling nothing, man. Right. Man, man to tell you, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this for you tomorrow. But you, we know it's only in Lord's will, man. The Lord allows that man to protect you and whatnot, man. Right. So really, the protection is coming from Yahweh by Shai, not man. You know? And our people, uh, you know, going down to Egypt, which is, um, you know, known as uh, uh, modern-day America. Right. The help, the government, you know, banking on, um, um, you know, the, the government to protect you from the floods and whatnot. Right. Yahweh by Shai is the one who's controlling all things. And our people need to be trusting in Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. Not right. Man. That's right. I got that. I got that precept for you. Though. I'm gonna read this right quick. I got a definition for confidence. I'm gonna read this again. This is Psalms chapter 118, verse uh, eight. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, than to put confidence in man. And the definition uh, for the word confidence this is a noun. It says the feeling or belief that one can can rely on someone or something. Yep, and that's what our people do, man. They they believe. The so-called white man, they're relying on so-called white man to deliver them right. from calamities, man. You know? And that, and that's that's the worst thing our people can do, man. You know? And like we were sp uh, speaking about earlier, our people protesting everything to the so-called white man and the government thinking the so-called white man going to change his laws to make equal rights, man. Right. You know, when when that's not going to happen, man. You're putting that confidence in man. Right. Look, trust, belief, faith. Yep. So we should put our faith in the, in the Lord, man. Not in the right. man, not in man. Right. Man, right. a lot to you, man, a lot to you, quick. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you yep. mentioned, you said man, man, will say he's gonna do something, but then he he never do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. They say, look, self um self assurance. That's some synonyms. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and look, self assurance. A lot of people um trusting themselves. Man. Right. You know, like they're gonna bring themselves through uh, a situation, man. Right. You know, 
They don't have no power to be able to do that. Right. Yeah, um, a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's um, appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. Yep, that's arrogance and, and, and pride that yeah. you can bring yourself through. Right. You know, Yahweh you know, Shem Al Shah may have had mercy on you to, uh, to be able to bring yourself through a situation. Now you think you did it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, <laughs> you're going to fail yourself every time believing that, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got guys that go to the gym all the time. They think going to the right. gym is what delivered them from um, getting beat up by those three guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, it was, a, it was the Lord that delivered you from the three guys. Not all that working out that you did. Right. The scriptures cut all that anyway, man. That's right. A man is not delivered by the multitude of his strength. The scriptures say that. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I got another one for you, though. This is because um, you meant, uh, you um, quoted um, they're going down to Egypt for help, so I got that. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe means death and destruction, man. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Why? And what's Egypt? A modern-day Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. Right. America and its system of, of governments and all, all the um, levels of governments, whether it's federal, state, local. Yep. Going to Egypt for help, man. Okay? Why? Because they're putting their trust in man. Right. Thinking that man's going to deliver them... From whatever situation they're from, whether you know you, you got our people relying on uh, uh, food stamps, right? You know, Section like eight. Trump gonna continue to get them these, these food stamps to, to you know uh, make it through the famine or whatever. Right. Coming, which they don't know that it's coming, but they think they're gonna be protected at all times. Right. You know, hey, soon come, man. You you're gonna realize how much man's lying to you, man. Right. You know, and the Lord's gonna show you how much He's in control and how much That's you right. should have put your trust in Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. So the scriptures say, woe to them to go down to Egypt. Why? Because man's going to fail you, man. Right. And you're going to get uh, caught up in a trick bag, man. You tr you still trusting in your slave master to um, to show you some love. Right. Right. I got this yep. I got this precept for you right quick. This is right. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Huh. I'll let you get that, bro. Look like the Negroes, Latinos, and they're making they stay going down to Egypt for help. They stay going to the so-called white man for help. But the scripture right. said it's all vain, man. Meaning yeah. it's empty. You know what I'm saying? And it uh, says, as for us, meaning the children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they stay going to the so-called white man for help, man. They stay going down to Egypt for help. Now, the scriptures do tell us, you know what I'm saying, that we're going to have to go to our enemy for the one of all things. But we won't right. put our trust in that, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, we know that's the Lord, you know what I'm saying, using this man to, um, we got to go to him for that. It's part of the punishment. Exactly. We, we, ain't, see, we ain't like two-thirds, man. They get a Section 8 part, man, you know what I'm saying, and they start working and everything. And they just depend solely on that, man. And so right. the so-called white man kick them out, they ain't got nothing to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? Right. At least we do got a job. Right. I mean, we had to go to our enemy for the, for the job, but we don't just sit back waiting on food stamps. You know what I'm right. saying? Um, a fucking, what is that, when you um, get fired or whatever? Them laid off uh, checks. Unemployment. Yeah, unemployment checks and all that. We don't depend on that, man. We get up and go to work, man. Get it, man. That's right, bro. But, but Jake, like you mentioned earlier, Jake, you know what I'm saying, keep doing all this damn marching. Trust, right. Trusting that the so-called white man going to finally give him a chance in his system, man. <laughs> like he finally going to make him equal, bro. Is they, is right, they right. kidding me, bro? These niggas crazy, right? You right? <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like he going to let him run his uh, 500 fortune com com um, company and shit. You know what I mean? Right. Nah, yo. Like the, like the police going to finally stop knocking you upside your head. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the police going to stop um, going up in your house, shooting you down. You know what I'm saying? Nah, right. man. It says, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Right. But our people keep going down to Egypt for help, man. And the God of the right. Bible saying that nation can't save you, man. That right. nation was created to destroy you, man. So, so who are you going to trust, the God of the Bible or the nation that was set up to destroy you? You know what I'm saying? So going back, lamentation, I mean not lamentation, but um, Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1. Woe to them, meaning death and destruction, right? Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Because we just read in lamentation that we, um, as for us, our eyes have failed for our vain help. So the help you're killing yourself to go to, you know what I'm saying, is in vain, man. It's all in vain, man. Right. And stay on horses. Horses meaning power. They go yep. they go to the so-called white man because he's got power, bro. Right. You know? 
But just that, just not knowing that the God of the Bible gave him that power. Right. That's why we go to the God of the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. They got all the power, right? That's who right. we trust in. And look, bro, it says, and trust in chariots, like his military might, his Humvees, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. Because yeah. there are many. They see they're on the military branches, you know what I'm saying, the different branches. It's got a whole lot of people invested in it, right? Man, it don't mean nothing to the God of the Bible, man. Right. This is nothing, man. They ants to the God of the Bible. It says, um, and trust in chariots, because there are many. The fruit of proud and the marines and all that other nonsense, man. Yeah, right, Jake right. gonna get it, man, that day, right? It right. says, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look, because they see the, uh, the nuclear capability of America and all that, you know what I'm saying? The structural right. and all that. So they're like, yo, no one can defeat America, man. We might as well keep putting our trust in America, man. Right, right, right. Just not knowing that the God of the Bible is going to come and smite this devil, right? right? It says, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. One, the one who's controlling all things. Yeah. Set up. Yep. So right. You know? And that, that's how, that, that, tells, that tells you that two-thirds of our people are carnal. Minded, yeah. Man. They don't even look past all that. Yeah. Who gives them the capability to be able to, to, to set up their military doing all that? Right. Man? You know? Who put the spirit in the so-called white man to split the atom? The Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord put right. the spirit on the so-called white man to be able to split the atom. He gave him the technology, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They create all these different tanks and all that, man. But they don't look to the God of Israel. Look, right. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Mm. So when they see the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways, they like the hell with us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because right. right. we're teaching about the Holy One of Israel. Yahweh by Shemia was shot. It says, neither seek the Lord. Mm. So they're not even seeking the, um, the Lord. Yahweh by Shemia was shot, man. Right. You know, trusting in the, the things that they can see carnal minded, man. Right. Look at past that, man. Yeah, the, the uh, America has um, a, a mighty military well, that's getting ready to be taken down by right. the how about Shemiah was shot. Right. Well, people see those things and they get caught up in it, man. They get caught up in it, man. They're not putting their trust in your how about Shemiah was shot. They're putting their trust in man. So they mesmerized, bro. Say it again? They mesmerized by this devil, yeah. man. Yep. This devil got him mesmerized, bro. Yep. I got something for you right quick. I got a, a couple of scriptures, actually. I got Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and serve him in sincerity and in truth. That's right. Fear the Lord, man. Fear the Lord, okay, and serve the Lord in sincerity, man. Right. Okay. You, you got to serve the Lord with all thine heart, man. You know? No wavering, man. Okay? And when you, like like we say, fear goes back to Proverbs 1 and 7. Fear is beginning of knowledge and wisdom, man. Okay? Which is what our Sincerity. people need, man. Okay? You're supposed to be fearing the Lord, man. Sincerity. And serving the Lord. Okay? Keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. Of Praying, fasting, the of you know? Free from pretense celebrating these, the high holy days that's for Israel, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, fear the Lord, man. Oh, yeah, I got some definitions for the word um, sincerity. Okay. I'm going to read that scripture again. Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. First thing, you got to fear the Lord, right? Yep. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Look, and serve him in sincerity. Sincerity, the quality of being free from pretense. Look, deceit or hypocrisy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be free from all that nonsense, man, when you're serving right. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You got to be free from deceit. Um, and look, uh, sincerity, the sincerity of his belief is unquestionable. Mm. So you don't question Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. You, you just do what is commanded of you. The, um, right. the synonyms, um, synonyms for um, sincerity, honesty, Yep. So, so you know, you you got to be honest, man, when you serve the Lord. Right. Man, tell you the, the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai are pure. Right. So he wants the ones that serve him to be pure as well, man. That's right. You know, sincere. Right. You know. It says, um, genuineness. Yep, genuine. Like, hey, look, there's there's no um um, uh, what's that word called? When you have some type of hypocrisy or some type of um, uh, um, you know. Uh, hypocrisy is acting, man. Yeah, active. Yep. It goes yep. back to the word um, hypocrite. Yep. 
So that means you're acting. Don't come, don't be acting when you like you uh, acting like you really serving the Lord, but you acting. Right. No, really serve the Lord. Don't act like you serving the Lord. Right. Serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yep, and I'm gonna say malice intentions. Like you don't have any intentions. Oh yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It says um truthfulness. Yep, all truthfulness, man. You know? Yeah, because it says um those that worship Yahweh must worship um him in spirit and in truth. Mm. That's huh. what the scriptures say. Look, huh. in integrity. Yep, having integrity, man. Having good character, man. Serving Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. You know, not being a, a, a nigga, man. Yeah. My language, not being a nigga in this truth, man. Right. I got some. I got the definition for the word integrity: the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Yep. And th and that's how that that's how um you're supposed to approach this truth, man. Right. You know, and sincerity, honest, man. Honesty. Yep. You know, no no malice intentions. Not trying to get over. Right. You know, shy, which you never will. Right. You're right. But coming in this truth, man, in all honesty and sincerity, man. Right. It says having strong moral principles. Hey, and hey, you gotta have character, man. You right. gotta have more moral principles, man. That's but right. What you find in, in the scriptures, all in the scriptures tell you how to be, man. Right. You know? You, know? you can't come in this truth being a nigga, man. Right. Oh yeah, mention what you just said. It says good character. Yep. That's some good of the character. synonyms for sincerity. Look, um, honesty, mm -hmm. righteousness. Yep. yep, righteousness, yep. Ethics. Mm -hmm. Ethics, having good ethics, man. Yep. Morals and ethics, character, yep. It says uh, decency. Having good decency. Right. Yep. That's pretty much it on um, integrity. So and, we're... And, you know, and, and, that, and that, that also goes further to say... You, you look at a, a, a friend, you you know, you ever want to judge a friend? You don't want a friend to have a, a bad character. Right. I, I rather I rather have a friend um, with good character uh, and who, who kind of lacks, um, you know, a little intelligence than somebody, who, vice versa, who don't have intelligence but has horrible um, character, man. You don't, you don't want a friend like that, man. You, you want somebody who has a, a moral integrity. Right. You know? He might not have all the best clothes and the best house and all that and the fanciest car, but he got integrity. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. The water, bro. Yeah, in the yep. bar. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He might not yep. have the best job, but he got integrity. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He's honest. He's truthful. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He's trust. He's trustworthy. Yep. Trustworthy, all that, man. You know? Now look, he's decent. Yep. You know? Decent. I love, yeah, and, that, um, and that's how people need to be. Yep. Look, straightforwardness. Straightforward. And hey, nothing like having a brother in his faith that's straightforward, man. Right, tell right. Truth, yep. Don't, 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 don't tell you uh, something you want to hear. Right. Hey, tell you when you go off. Right. You know, because hey, that's protecting you, man. Make, making sure that you, um, you know, you, you sticking according to the scriptures, you know. That's right. And that's how the Lord wants us to serve him, bro, with all those different definitions I just read. Yep. And it all goes back to trust. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And fear. Fear first and foremost. Yep. So we'll go back to Joshua and finish that off. This is Joshua chapter 24, because two-thirds trust in Egypt, right? Yep. So Joshua is talking to the elect. Well, he's talking to the whole nation of Israel, but the scripture's going to go into who's going to really serve the Lord. This is on 14 again. Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And right. put... And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood. Those false idols, man. Right. The owl and um, the, the, the... Dagon. The yep. Serapis. Yeah, yep, Serapis, yep. It says, All of those false idols, man. Right. You know, and me, and many stuff, other man. gods and many other false idols, you know what I'm saying? Right. You name it. Israel had a god for every day of the week, bro. Right. It says, yep. and in Egypt, so we serve the Egyptian gods. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Molech, Baphomet, Horus. You know what I'm saying? All that other nonsense. Yep. And, and serve ye the Lord. Yep, and serve the Lord, man. Serve the Lord with fear and trembling, man. You know? Keeping the statute laws commandments to the best of your ability. Praying, fasting. Right. You know? Uh, celebrating the high holy days. That's right. I serve how about shimmy, how it shine. 
Okay? And if you trust in the Lord, you'll do those things. Right. You know, like you say, bro, um, through the Spirit, you want to wait till all that hell break loose to trust the Lord. Bro. Right. You know, or, and, and first and foremost, fear the Lord. You right. You want to wait to um, death is knocking at your door and then you want to fear the Lord. To the Lord, I fear you, Lord. I fear right. now, man. It's too late now. Too late. You know? It says, um, 15, Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, which that's the majority of our people, bro. You, we out there on the highways and byways, and you see how I praise our people look at us, though, bro, yep. for serving the Lord. So to yep. them, it seemed evil to serve the power that we serve, man. Because we didn't have people come up to us, um, um, the God of the Bible, you know what I'm saying, don't love everybody. Well, I don't want to serve a God like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't want to serve a God like that. Our people that said that, bro. So right. to so to them it seemed evil to serve you how about Shemia was shot. So so um, the prophet Joshua, you know what I'm saying, one of our forefathers, one of our leaders, you know what I'm saying, that led us into the promised land, said, And if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord, you how about Shemia was shot, choose you this day whom you will serve. Mm. So pretty yeah, much was... Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Oh. Nah, nah, I'm just going to say, um, so basically what Joshua is saying is, if you don't want to trust and serve the Lord, then go serve and trust in who you're going to serve. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You want to say something? Back, and that goes back to the lesson, man. Who you put your trust in. Right. Stop to the side, you know? Right. Yeah, he, he, said, he said, choose you, choose you this day whom you will serve. Yep. You have to pick a side, man. Yep. It's either Yahweh by Shemuel Shai or it's a spiritual demon Satan. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because anything um, other than Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is working for the spiritual demon Satan anyway. That's but right. all around, though, everybody's working for Yahweh by Shemuel Shai anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But you know. Yep. Just to let our people know, you know, because you got to break down stuff to Jake, you know? Yep. It says, um, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods or the Amorites... In whose land ye dwell, which were the Hamites. Yep. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. That's right, and that's the men of the Lord. As for our, um, for us and our households, we're going to serve the Lord. Yeah, how about you? How about you? Man, that's the side we choose. Right. But that's the side we choose to trust in, man. Right. And all the death and destruction is getting ready to come to America. It's here now, but it's right. getting ready to turn up even more, man. That's right. Race riots. Uh, um, famine, martial law, right? Earthquakes, more earthquakes, more tornadoes, more, uh, um, you know, death and destruction. Right. Man. You know, we're gonna serve the Lord. You have about you shy in our households, man. That's right. Because of what these two thirds think, man. They want to serve these other gods, Sharapis, right? Uh, being an Islam uh, religion and uh, um, serving uh, Hinduism, right? Santa Maria, the Hindu god of yeah. Shiva, Baphomet, right. Molech, serve them there, man. Yeah. Serve them. See if they <laughs> see if they can deliver you. you no, know, saying you got something to drink, bro. Yeah, I got some right here. Look, see if they can deliver you when all hell break loose. Then mm -hmm. you want to serve them. Look, like like the scripture say. You no, know, saying um, go to them other gods. You no, know, saying when all hell break loose. Right. That's what the Lord said. Yep. Go to them other gods when all hell break loose, man. Since right. you didn't want to serve me, you know what I'm saying. Right. See if Allah deliver you when I bring another flood to this place. You know what I'm saying. Right. You know. When I drop a tree on your house, see if um, Allah can catch that tree. You know right. what I'm saying? From dropping right. on your house, man. Mm. Right, look, I got a nice precept right here, bro. This is Psalms chapter 18, verse um, 30. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect. That's right. Yahweh Bashim Shai, his way is perfect, man. Flawless. Right. You know? You, you can't, you can't, um, you, you can't, can't go wrong. You can't go wrong serving the Lord, man. That's right. You cannot go wrong serving the Lord, man. Putting your trust in the Lord, that's a win-win situation, man. Yep. Now look, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. We we seeing we living proof, man, that trusting in the yep. Lord is a is a perfect thing to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's the right thing to do, man. Cause shit, bro, if we ain't trusting the Lord, shit, man, we wouldn't even be able to do this video right about now, man. That's right, bro. Cause our house probably would be in chaos right about now. We'd probably yep. be in there arguing like hell with somebody. You know what right. I'm saying? You know. Right. Or he's outside arguing with him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, look, late as it is, right, bro? Right. If we didn't trust and, in the Lord. Yep. And if I if I could chime in, bro. Yep. Like what I was telling y'all brothers earlier, man. You know, tornado coming through the city, man. Right. <laughs> like right. Street door closed, my door open. Right. Laid on the couch, knocked out, man. Right. 
because I know the power I serve, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hashimi Al-Shai. I've been, you know, Lord, you know, the one of Yahweh Hashimi al I've been pushing this truth to the best of my ability. Serving yep. the Lord to the best of my ability. Yeah. What am I worried about? I've been fearing the Lord. Right, you right, know? right. You know, uh, been this truth. So, uh, you know, that's who I'm trusting in. You right. Know? So, yeah, that's what our people need to be trusting in. The ways of Yahweh Hashimi al are perfect, man. Right. Plus, we ain't doing no nonsense. We ain't committing adultery. We ain't cooking right. crack. We ain't stealing. We ain't murdering. We ain't right. lying. The only thing we doing is going to work, coming home, breaking out excuses the right way, being brotherly. We ain't being niggas throughout the week. Right. What do we got to fear, man? Right. When you, when you being a nigga, you know what I'm saying, you faking and funk, that's when you have a whole lot to fear, man. Right. Now, we that's do true. fear the Lord, yeah, but as far as in us fearing, you know what I'm saying, what can happen to us, we don't fear right. that because we fear the God of the Bible, man. That's right. You know? Cause, it, cause the scriptures say, um, um, those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shai, have nothing else to fear. You know what I'm saying? Just roughly paraphrasing. So once again, it says, um, Psalm chapter 18, verse 30. As for Yahweh Bashimel Shai, his way is perfect. Look, the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Yep, that buckler, hey, that's that safety net, man. Right. That shield, he gonna protect the ones that trust him, man. Right. And that's why it's important to pick the right side, yeah, how about you? Right. You don't want to pick the wrong side, man. Right. You know, that, that other side gonna fail you every time, every man. Every time. <laughs> every time. We just read in Lamentation with the, um, what it said in Lamentations. As yeah. for us, um, um, we have, um, I have, our help pretty much failed us. Yep. Well, I got it right here because I don't even want to misquote it. I got it right here. I read it again. This is Lamentations. Salakia. Uh -huh. Speak right quick. Well, I got it, bro. I got it right here. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. In in our watching, we have watched for a nation. We have watched for a nation, bro. So that means every last one of them. <laughs> we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Yep. But that's why people put their trust in the so-called white man when he won't set up to save you. Yahweh, right. Lord Yahawashai was set up to save us, man. Henceforth right. his name, man, Yahawashai. Yahs he Hawashai deliverer, man, or savior. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's who we put our trust in. Mm -hmm. You know? And um, I got two more after this, bro. I'm still in the book of um, Psalms, the 18th chapter. Psalms chapter 18, verse 1. I will love thee, O Lord, Yahweh by Shimei my strength. And you Read show me that again from top, bro. This is Psalm chapter 18, verse 1. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. That's right. We will love the Lord, man. And what's love? Keeping the statutes, laws, and commandments, man. For right. First John, what, 5 and 3? Uh, yeah, 4 yeah. and 3. The 4 and 3. Uh, yep. Well, matter of fact, I'll get it right quick just to make sure. Huh, yep. Just to make sure. Yeah, you yeah, you was right though. There's a couple on five and three, first um uh, second John verse six. Yep. But I I read two of them just to make a point. This huh, is um yep. first John chapter five verse three. For this is the love of the most high, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. And that's what love is, man. So when you hear uh King David mention that you will love the Lord, you how about you shy? Keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability and not and not all complaining about it, man. Right. It's, not being, it's not grievous to us. Right. Okay, and that's how you love the Lord, man. By showing the love the Lord, you love him by um hearkening to his ways, man. Yep. You know? Cause his ways are perfect, man. When the God of the Bible said don't eat swine, it's a reason behind that, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord's words are perfect, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And this is another one. This um written in red, this is Lord Yahweh shot speaking on love again. This is um, St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. And that's plain, man. Right. And that's what love is, keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Verse 2, going back to Psalm, chapter 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my yep. fortress mm -hmm. and yep. my deliverance. like you. Yep, the Lord is our, our rock and our fortress, man. Right. You know, he, he, he's going to protect us, man. That's right. You know? So when you think about, you know, a, a fortress, it's like a hedge of protection, man. Right. That's, that's what the Lord's going to be for the ones who love him. You know, he's our strength. Right. You know, in, in troubling times, in the times that we in now, in the times that's closely approaching, 
Yeah, how about Shinya Rashad? Are all those things, man? You know, for the ones that are uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that love them, that trust in them. Cause you look back in the ancient time, those fortresses when the kings, no say, had battles, no saying with other um uh, countries or whatever. Look, when it was time to retreat, they ran back to that fortress, man. Yep. And that fortress protected them, you know. Yep. Which I got a definition for that. Come. Let me get it right quick. Bring it out. I know, right, bro? Look, <laughs> fort, look, fortress on the um, pretty much the dictionary.com. Look, um, a military stronghold. Yeah, he's our stronghold, you know. Right. And and it, and King David was an example of that, man. He 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 protected King David many times, man. You know, from from his enemy, man, uh, the Philistines, man, trying to yep. come out, um, after him, and, and many times, man. Right. All right. So he was a fortress for for he's a fortress for our people, man. Yep. At all times for the ones who trust him and love him. Yeah, he says he's a stronghold in a day of trouble. Yep. Hey, look, listen to this one, bro. This is heavy right here. Look, a heavily protected or impenetrable building. So it's a building you can't even penetrate. Man. Yeah. You can't even pe heavily protect it. You right. Can't even penetrate, man. No. That's how about Shimei Hawashai to the ones that trust him, man. Right. That fortress, man, that protection. Yeah. You ain't going to uh, penetrate your how about Shimei Hawashai, man. Right. The power that, that our, 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 um, our Lord has, man. That's right. You know, he's going to protect us. That's right. Hey, look, a person or thing not um, susceptible to outside influence or disturbance. Hey, hey, hey look, Subsidable. No uh -huh. if, if I'm saying that word right, subsidable, S U S C E P T I B L E. Oh, susceptible. Yeah, susceptible. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. person or thing not susceptible to outside influence or disturbance. Yep. So you can't you can't disturb that fortress that has your protection. Right. When that, when that protection is up, you can't even penetrate it to even disturb it. Yep. You ain't you ain't causing no kind of um movement, no problems. Right. That's inside of that fortress, man. Right. You know, and those those are the ones that that's why it's important to choose the right side. Mm -hmm. You want to be inside of that fortress, that hedge of protection that you have by Shmuel Shai. That's right. It's gonna be the ones who truly who truly trust him, man. Right. You no. Know? It says, and my deliverer. Yeah, he will deliver, save you from your enemies, man. Right. Save you from the calamities that's, that's, that's approaching. Yeah. All those things, man. Good shit, man. Look at them floods, man. The majority, man. I mean, that's all you see on the news is what happened. The Lord is just not getting started, man. The Lord right. ain't scratched his throat yet, man. You know what yep. I'm saying? The Lord ain't even really started getting busy yet, man. The Lord gonna put some fear in these people, man. Regardless, right. man. The thing the Lord is bringing to the Lord, I'm saying, is putting people in predicaments that they would never recover from, man. Right. Never, man. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be still trying to recover when the, when the chariots come, man, and zap right. this place, bro. Some people yep. ain't never going to recover, man. Because right. why? Because they ain't put their trust in the Lord. They put their trust in their house and all that, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And they cars and they, they just sitting in their garage and all that. And the God of the Bible flooded it all, man. You know what I'm saying? They put their trust in their riches, their bank account, man. When we put our trust in the Lord, man. Because we ain't right. got nothing here. Look, uh, don't put your trust in uncertain riches, man. As the scriptures say, man. One day you, you're sitting on top of the world. And that's saying you no. Know, you're sitting outside, man. On the okay. curb, man. Looking crazy, man. So you put okay. your trust in the Lord, man. You know? It says, um, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust. Yep. And that's who we should be trusting in. You know, the Lord has proven... Proving himself many times, man. Right. Delivering us from the um, uh, captivity under the Egyptians. Right. You know, many times, man. You know, showing his power, mm -hmm. showing that how he can deliver us. Yeah. We put our trust in him. You know. Yep. And that's that's who we need to be, uh, you know, trusting into, fearing, yep. loving, all those things, man. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down and I'm gonna jump right back up since I'm, it's, it's going right into what you just said perfectly. That's what the the words and the ways of the Lord are perfect, bro. Now listen to this exactly what you just said. Psalm chapter eighteen verse seventeen. He delivered me from my strong enemy. That's right. The Lord delivered you know uh, King David man and the children of Israel many times right. from that strong enemy. You know Pharaoh was strong as hell, bro. That's right. Yep. Cunt. Yep. Strong as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yep. And we got delivered from him, man. Now, mm -hmm. he's getting ready to deliver the elective nation of Israel from another strong enemy, the so-called white man. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. 
Hey, look. Hey, look. Go ahead, bro. Just not to mention, um, David, before he was king, David, going against Goliath. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. How strong Goliath was considered to be. Right. You know? Everybody feared him. Yep. Everybody feared him. Even King Saul feared him. Yep. And everybody feared King Saul. Yep. But King Saul even feared um, um, Goliath, man. Goliath, yep. But David didn't. And he was delivered, right? Yep. Look, and from them which hated me. Yep. And that knows our enemies, man. Right. Any 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 nation that's not of Israel is our enemy, man. Right. So called white men, the doodle eating Africans, the Die Head East Indians. Right. Uh, um, the so called Japanese, the so called Chinese. Shit, two thirds. You know, the two thirds, man. Right. You know, the Lord's gonna deliver the ones who trust him, man. Right. The ones who pick the right side and trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's right. For for they were too strong for me. Yeah, and, and, and you know, carnally when you look at it, you know, you look at Esau's military, yeah, uh, um Esau's military looks like they're too strong for, you know, uh, uh the hopeful elect. Right. But the Lord's gonna show his glory by what? Lifting up the elect, man. Right. Going with some of those men. And bring down the strongholds, man. Like he always do. Like he always do, bro. It never ceases to fail, man. The, see, right. the Lord is dealing with the underdog anyway. You know yeah. what I'm saying? See, the Lord is dealing, you know what I'm saying, with that small number, man, that small remnant, mm -hmm. man. And and that's how he, that's how he show his strength, man, with that small number, you know? Yep. Just like when we used to go to war, he used 300 men, you know what I'm saying, yep. to destroy tens of thousands, man. You know what I'm saying, hundreds of thousands, you know? That's right. So we'll jump right back up. And I got one more after this, and then we'll wrap it up. Psalms chapter 18. Verse um, in the middle of two, and uh, oh yeah, um, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation. Horn represents power, and my high tower. It's, the scriptures tell you the name of the Lord is a um, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Mm. You know a strong tower. You ain't penetrating through that. Right. Verse three. I will call upon the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, who is worthy to be praised. That's right, and you're gonna be gonna call on the names, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Right. True Hebrew names, man. Right. Why? Because we trust in those names. We picking the right side. That's right. Nope. And, and worthy to be praised. Why? Because hey, the Lord's gonna the one who has all the glory, the power right. to, to take care of the children of Israel. Right. To, you know, be a buckler and a hedge of protection for the children of Israel, man. Plus, you most de your, your creator is most definitely worthy to be praised. Right. The entity that created you most definitely, they're worthy to be praised. You know what I'm saying? Right. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. That's right. The Lord is going to save the ones who truly trust in him from the, their enemies, man. Yeah. You know? And, and that's why we use these examples, man, from King David, you know, uh, King Solomon, all, all the uh, our forefathers, man. You know, they trusted in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And they were delivered from their enemies, man. Yep. Well, none of, well, none of them confounded. Exactly. Meaning, well, none of them ashamed. That's right. Because why? Because they trusted in the Lord. And then the Lord always came through. That's one thing about the Lord, man. He always come through, bro. Always, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you right. can't never have that doubt, um, that demon doubt, man. That's right. That's you know? right, bro. And I got one more, bro, and then we'll wrap it up. This is on um, Sarak in the Apocrypha, which is part of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Chapter 2, we started, um, let me see. We just go straight to the point. Um, let me see. I go, I go, I started 7. Matter of fact, I started 6, which I can go all the way up, you know what I'm saying? But I just hit the point since, you know what I'm saying, process of time. Sarak chapter 2, verse 6. Believe in him. And he will help thee. That's right. You got to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You can't um, expect an entity to save you and you don't even believe in it. Right. You got to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That word believe goes back to what? Trust. Right. right. Yep. So you got to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And he's going to help you. Yeah. It um, also goes into um, to have faith in. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It says, um... And he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Order thy way aright, meaning get right, you know? Right. You know, uh, you know be righteous. Right. For people called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Fear the Lord, first and foremost. Get the wisdom and knowledge in these scriptures. Love the Lord by keeping the statute, laws, and commandments, as we just proved that. 
First John five and three, you know, and Saint John fourteen and fifteen. Right. You know, so for right, man. So that way you don't you you know you won't fall into that uh, category of it's a such thing as too late. Right. Get yourself for right now. Prepare yourself. Right. So you call on the entity that's going to protect you and save you from uh, all hell and death and destruction. Right. The scriptures tell you to do something, you do it. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It, it says order thy way right, meaning yeah. get in order. You know what I'm saying? But what the scriptures yeah. are saying, you know? It says, um, and trust in him. And that's right, and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It says, ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh wait for his mercy. Yep, the ones that fear the Lord are going to truly wait on his mercy. Right. So that's the only way that we're going to be saved, man, is through that mercy, man. Lord willing with some of those men. That's right. You know, you know, mercy goes back to compassion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We wait on the mercy of the Lord. Look, your enemy is not going to show you mercy. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's going to keep right. shooting you down. Then look, Jake going to always be bringing them coffins to each game from now on in. Right. Jake bugged yeah. the hell out, bro. You know what I'm saying? They brought right. coffins to the, um, to the Dallas game, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm protesting for that dude that got killed, you know what I'm saying, in his house by that white cop. Right. And then the truth coming out, and then, you know what I'm saying, that the, um, that the white lady, you know what I'm saying, was in love with the dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? She ain't, look, she ain't breaking to the wrong house, bro. It was all, it was all about love. The dude didn't want right. to deal with her no more, bro. Jake didn't want to deal with her no more, bro. And he, he was losing their mind, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know? You're going to do something, you know what I'm saying, bro? You're going to do something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You gonna make love to me? She probably thought he had another chick up in there. Right. And you gonna open his door? Now you gonna open his door? Right. This ain't no broke this man shit down, bro. Right. Tell some, tell some, um, I, I thought it was my my crib. You didn't look at the number on the door. Right. Or the mat on the floor. Right. Right. <laughs> know what I'm saying? You knew that want your damn door. Right. You a cop too? You right. know exactly where your house at. That's Jake though. That's Jake trusting in their enemy, though. Yep. Plus, this ain't the time to be trying to even really deal with too many women, man. Sit I your agree. ass down somewhere. I agree. It says, um, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, verse, verse seven. 7, yeah. And go not aside, lest you fall. Yeah, don't fall by the wayside, man. You know, cleave to your power. You how about Chanel was shot? Yeah. And, 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 you know, you said something um, through the Spirit on the highways and byways. You got to constantly be praying. Right. Constantly be in these scriptures. Yep. You know, the cleaving to our power. Yeah, how about you know That's a commandment to cleave yep. to our power, man. That's right, bro. You know, if we trust in him, we're going we gonna to always stay by your how about you know You know, yeah, we're not perfect, you know. We may fall short, but we get back up, man. And right. And cleave right back to our power, you know. That's right. It says don't go aside, you know what I'm saying? Like all of a sudden you worshiping your how about Shemel Shai, you fearing the Lord, and all of a sudden you stop fearing the Lord, and then you start worshiping Buddha. You know what I'm saying? Then you start worshiping Allah, you get you go back to the Baptist church and all that other nonsense, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't go aside, man, least she right. fall. Yep. It says, um, ye that fear the Lord, believe him. Yep, the ones that fear the Lord truly believe in him. Right. And and your reward shall not fail. Hey, and that reward is um receiving um salvation, Lord, right. Lord and yep. the elect. That and crown. And being delivered through, you know, all calamities, you know? Yep. All the calamities is coming, you know, uh whether even even in these times that we in now, right uh, making your your rent payment, you yep. know, um being able to have a job, yep. you know, to, to receive the necessities in life, all those things, man. The Lord yep. is always gonna be there for you, man, daily. Yep. Yeah, we're still catching hell. You know, but ultimately we want that that salvation too. You know, plus uh, plus you can see clear as day, man. The, the more you in this truth, man, you see the Lord is like just building you up to be a stone. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The Lord is building you up to be a stone to where that stone is um impenetrable. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? To where nothing can't penetrate through that stone. He making you a stone. He making you right. hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. He making you hard, man. He making you numb to whatever happened to these people. You ain't gonna give a damn. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He, the Lord making us numb right now, man. To what you know what I'm saying, everybody gonna be catching hell, and we probably gonna be going through hell too. But it ain't gonna be bothering us though, cause right. we going through hell now, man. So you making us numb, bro, to going through hell, man. Yep. Making it to where we don't even feel the hell. You know what I'm saying? We don't even feel the fire, even though you're going through it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause that goal is being purified. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It says, um, 
Uh, verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord, you have by Shai, hope for good. That's right. The ones that fear the Lord, they hope for good, man. Right. You know? You know, you, you, you expect that, you, you know, when you serve the Lord, the Lord's going to deliver you because you have confidence, you trust Him. Right. Right. And you're doing the right thing, you know what I'm saying? Yep. That's right. It says, and, and for everlasting joy and mercy. Hey, and for everlasting joy and mercy, man. We want that, man. We want everlasting joy and mercy. Yeah. We believe in those things, and it's coming from the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Yep. But we got to trust the Lord and choose the right side, you know? That's right. Got to, bro. That's right. Damn. This is the point right here. Look at the generations of old mm. and see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know what I'm saying? Noah, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Lot, you know what I'm saying? All of them, man. Um, Job, yep. you know, King David, you know? Yep. All our ancient forefathers, man. Look at the generations of old. Oh, yeah, Daniel's in the lion's den, Meshach, um, Shamrach, and Abednego. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All of them, man. Um, Daniel, not even just in the lion's den, you know what I'm saying? But many accounts. Because, you know, mm -hmm. Daniel was in many uh, different captivities. A couple of them. And he, he trusted in the Lord. He ain't bowed down to none of those idols, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? He trusted in the Lord. So look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord? Yahweh by Shem Shai and what's confounded? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the word confounded means ashamed. The ones that trusted in the Lord, they want a shame for trusting in the Lord. Because the Lord always delivered them, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Whom, whom, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him, man? So we call on the name of the Lord. We trust in the name of the Lord. We, we believe in the name of the Lord. We put our faith in the name of the Lord. So we can't be confounded, man. As long as we st stay on that track, man. Because if we go aside, then we're going to fall, man. Right. As the scripture have just said, you know? Right. So so who will you tr who will you trust? You know what I'm saying? That's right. We trust in your how about Shimmy man. That's right. It's on you, bro. Yep. Our people trusting in all types of uh, false entities, man. Trusting in um, black power. You know, trusting in man, the so-called white man, trusting right. in themselves. And what has that gotten our people, man? Nowhere, man. Nowhere. All right? So there's only one side you should be choosing to trust in. That's your how about Shimei Shai. That's right. The truth right side, like brother said, man. So anything else you want to say, bro? Nah, just um, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You know what I'm saying? We bring these scriptures out knowing the terror of the Lord. And it's going to get bad out here for our people, man. So right. to behoove you Israelites to put your trust in the Lord, man. Right. Do look, do it now, man. Don't tarry. Don't wait, man. Right. Don't wait, man. Make no tarrying to serve the Lord, man. Make no tarrying to serve the Lord, man. Do it now, man. Put all your trust, man, in the Lord. Don't have a plan B. Only have one plan. You have about Shemel Shai. Don't have no plan B, man. You know, you got guys that say, um, oh, yeah, I'm going to serve the Lord. But if he don't um, come in two more years, then, then I'm going to go back, you know what I'm saying, to doing what I was doing. Don't have no plan B, man. Have a plan. You have a bunch of and that's it, man. That's right. It's on you, bro. All right. So, hey, beautifully said, before we close out, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. That's right. All right. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there, man, pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. That's right. And, uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> as well as shalom to the elect, man, of nation of Israel. Right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.